What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of The AZN Kitchen. I'm gonna be cooking something today. David's gonna be cooking something today. We're gonna see which ones is better. And the special ingredient is Hellman's Mayo. Ooh. That's right, Hellman's challenged us to have a strange witch showdown. A strange witch? What's a strange witch? Well, it says here that a strange witch is a sandwich with an unexpected twist that makes it even more delicious. Strange witch! Using the Hellman's Mayo, if you're from the West Coast, you may know this brand better as Best Foods. Okay, challenger, AKA Andrew, hey. what's your first strange witch? Japanese chicken karage bun me. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I'm taking it to Tokyo, to Hanoi. Oh boy. Woo. Round one, fight. fusion bun mi's before, but not in particular a Japanese karage. So it's like fusion on fusion. So I've had these pieces of chicken marinating for about an hour and some soy sauce, sesame oil, sake, garlic, and ginger. I noticed that those are chicken thigh pieces. Yeah, because I like the dark meat. Alright, I gotta pat this chicken dry, and then I'm gonna throw it into potato starch. Who in love with potato starch? What? Okay, and then the next step is I gotta put these chickens in the fryer. Are you guys ready? Ah! Hold on. If we're cooking bun mees, we gotta have Cafe Suda, aka Vietnamese coffee. Shout out to our boy Richie Lee. Woo! Karage, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a hard word to say correctly. Spell that K A Karage. Alright, man. You know, David, I would say that's cooked. On to the next step. I. I'm going to be making some wasabi mayo. Ah! I would go ahead and say that this is the most technologically advanced mayo bottle I've ever seen. Easily. Uh, Fukusan, the challenger, is the now sauce. mixing the wasabi into the Hellman's mayonnaise. Cook them. I think that's the cool thing about a strange witch, you know, using Hellman's. You can mix in whatever you want with the mayo, and it takes on the properties of whatever you're mixing it with. Wasabi. This ain't a bun me without the carrots and daikon. And What's then, that? Cilantro. Bam! Oh man, this We're is We're definitely good. not skipping. Fukusan, I just want to try uh, the karage with some of the wasabi mayo in a dip. Mmm. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. You ready? That's the money shot. Oh. That is delicious. I would keep eating this if we didn't have a bunch of other food we had to make, man. All right, Andrew. I'm gonna come with a fusion strange witch of my own. Honey walnut shrimp po' boy. Whoa, boy! You guys know what a po' boy is. You've seen it with some lettuce. And I would say a lot of people watching this right now have probably had honey walnut shrimp before. Ah! You wanna definitely wanna chop this head of lettuce very thinly. You were my for the kitchen! Uh, the knife is very sharp right now. Chop, chop. Did you know that phrase actually comes from Chinese? Yeah. It's a borrowed phrase. That's what it is. It's called Googling something. Just. <laughs> Got my Hellman's mayo. I'm going to pour the condensed milk. And last but not least, I'm going to mix the honey. Sweet, creamy. For me, I don't know. I don't know. For me, I like it a little bit more sweet. Go, go, right, go, in. go in. Go in, man. 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 Coat it, man. Okay, we're going into the fryer. Man, the crackling noise, man. Nothing beats the crackling. Trust me, a lot of people cook at home, but I don't know if you really cook at home until you got this fryer. That Yo, was kind of crazy. Can I open a restaurant now? Maybe we will open a restaurant. <laughs> Sir, strange with you. <laughs> These shrimps, whoa, are done. Whoa! They're in what we like to call the zone. I got the shrimp. 
I got the mayo, I got the walnuts, I got the lettuce, I got the tomato. Okay, here we going with the mayo. We got the helmets. We got our honey soaked walnuts. We have the honey walnut shrimp mixed. You put so much in that po' boy, I don't even know if it's po' anymore. We're gonna go with two slices of tomato. This is the shredded lettuce. Oh geez, the better lettuce. Yeah, right there. You're a strange witch doctor. All right, let's do this. Okay. okay. Is it safe to say, Andrew, this is ho sick? This is ho sick. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta give round one to myself. Oh! <laughs> all, right, all right, David, you know what? I'm not even really gonna say and whether or not you won round one or not, I am gonna stay focused for round two. All right, this is the second portion of the Strange Witch Showdown. Round two, fight! All right, so for my second Strange Witch, I'm bringing the spice, a vegetarian roti paratha curry with potatoes and tofu mixed in with a special Hellman's mayo curry mix. Oh! Mm, I like it because it's something for the vegetarians. Yes. Let's put the potatoes in. Potatoes in Hindi is alu. A-L-O-O. -O. All right, I'm gonna put the tofu in. Dude, do you smell that? Smell that curry powder, man. I'm about to toss it in. Woo! Waste no time. Oh, you hear that? A lot of vegetarians in India, by the way. So that's why their vegetarian food is all important. How are you gonna work the Hellman's mayo with curry? I am going to make a special curry powder Hellman's mayo mix, and then I'm gonna cook it in to the potatoes and tofu. Let's do it. Hellman's going in. Mix this in right here. Shout out to New Delhi. Punjab. Mumbai. Ooh. Add some color. Uh, Got it. Hold on, Andrew. Before you cook that roti, aka paratha, Wait. here is a mango lassi, aka a mango lassi. Thanks, bro. Cheers. I got this paratha here. I'm uh, trying Fusan, to it seems like the challenger is having trouble removing the paratha from the wrapping. One paratha's done, man. Look how beautiful that looks, David. Throw in another, please. Yo, if I was this paratha, I'd say don't burn me. Please, just throw on some curry. Cook up the roti. Time to put these hot steaming curry potato tofu mix onto it. Mm. Uh, I know this looks good, right? But it might look better with some Helmet's mayo drizzled on top. Mm. Oh, hold on. Mm. Oh, that's mm. so good. I think it's safe to say that if you bring paratha into the picture, it's a wrap. Oh! this man I'm also gonna mix two things within culture I'm gonna go Japanese Hawaiian to Japanese nice. with the spicy tuna poke burrito oh! this is sashimi gray tuna I've chopped and cubed it seaweed salad you can buy this pre-made you don't need to make it yourself I've got my sliced cucumbers I've got the green onion scallions and in a bit of a Pan-Asian twist, we've got the Korean kimchi chopped up just to add a little bit of extra kick to it. How are you going to incorporate the mayo in your Hellman Strange Witch? <laughs> I'm going to make sriracha mayo. Oh! So, I got my Hellman's. Now, sriracha. Man, that looks nice, bro. It's kind of like a salmon pinkish orange. Okay. But it's crazy because you're about to put the salmon spread on the tuna. First off, you have to go with the sesame oil, drizzle it on top of the fish. Now we got the soy sauce. We're gonna mix it all up. I got the ice cold poke. I can tell <laughs> because the tuna is real chili. Alaska. I would say the Pacific. To be specific, the Pacific. All right, now we're gonna mix it with the mayo. Uh... Okay, I've got my rice here. I'm going to lay it on top of the nori. Again, rough side up. Here we go. Uh, now it is time to place the toppings and then we go and roll it up in the burrito format. So I'm gonna take some of this green seaweed right here. Hold up, David. I know this is your first time rolling sushi, on camera at least. So I got some matcha green tea lattes, oh, man. Oh, arigato. Yeah. Mm. That's matcha. The matcha gotcha. We got the kimchi. We got our cukes. 
Got the green scallions. Mm -hmm. I'm going with the two. Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. This is the moment of truth right now. The challenger is about to attempt one of the toughest uh, parts of this dish, which is to successfully roll the sushi. This is okay. okay. You, you gotta keep your hand. Hold in. it up. I, I, don't, I ain't gonna don't, say anything, man. Don't. Ah! Ah! Oh! Hey! Sugoi! The excitement is palpable. This is Man, the spicy tuna poke sushi burrito. Ah! Ito takimas. Mmm. This is very refreshing, man. Mm hmm. Sugoi. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that video. Shout out to Helmets for challenging us to a Strange Witch showdown where we can flex our skills in the AZN kitchen. Okay, and since we got challenged, we want to flip that challenge on to you so that you guys can share your own Strange Witch recipe, photo, video on Instagram and Twitter with the hashtag Strange Witch. And no, your recipes do not need to be as fancy as ours were today. They could be super simple. And remember, actually anything can be a Strange Witch as long as it has that Hellman's Mayo twist. What's, What's your strange witch? Thank you guys so much for watching that video. Woo! Man, that was super crazy, man. I am so surprised that we were able to cook all that, and that was such a good experience, and we just want to thank Hellman so much for challenging us so that we could do that. I know that you guys didn't taste the food, but which strange witch do you think won? Yeah, or whose no, who's strange uh, witch ideas won? Four, out of the four. All right, you guys, uh, definitely another thing I want to challenge you guys to do is learn how to blend Asian culture into Western things, because I feel like, you know, that's kind of what we do in the AZN kitchen. We always make, give you a little bit of this, we give you a little bit of that, and uh, it's really fun. And one last thing, if this video ever taught me anything, it was it's pretty important to know how to cook something. Yes. Learn to cook something. Well, because it's like learning about life, because you got to eat all the time. You'll never stop. It's food. Listen, you guys, check out this video over here. Check out that video over there. And until next time, we're out. Peace. Peace.